Yo, what is good, everybody? Welcome back to another YouTube video. This is my review for the Bardock DLC. And um, this is not going to be like too, too long because I'm not going to lie, y'all. This DLC was mid. This was like one of the worst ones behind Power Awakened Part 1. Um, it was very like straightforward. I mean, I guess it was to the T of the anime, but like it just was very tedious to do. It did not feel fun at all to do. It didn't feel like... I was engaged in the story at all. It just felt like they were just showing us like it was like, like I just I could just watch that. I could just watch the episode. Like I just watched the episode. Like literally, I literally could just watch the episode. Like that's that that DLC was the was the actual like what I'm talking about when I say that. Yeah, I didn't need to play any of that. Cause the, all the fighting that we would I would just punch. We, uh, it's, it wasn't it wasn't in depth. It wasn't like fun um it, it just it, it gave off like a very how do you say just tailoring to specific fans i guess or just leeching off or something like 20 bucks for this was crazy i know you have a prince of like the prince vegeta thing but i heard that one was even very subpar um just in the middle of the whole dlc and story as you can see i did a walkthrough again you guys can check that out um in my like playlist and everything i'll link it in the end, end card and the video but like when it comes to that stuff like nothing to nothing else to do nothing to explore the world like you could have used this to expand on the world of planet vegeta instead of just placing us on the map like it was cool to see the map it was cool to see everything but like we didn't get to really we just literally just saw like there was nothing like there was nothing there like, i don't even know what to say because it was just it was just the anime it was just the episode if if you watch the uh, the anime or like the right the manga, it's to the T. They literally followed it, followed it almost to the T. There was nothing added, nothing for real. Like they they tried, they didn't try to like immerse you more into it. It was just the story. Like it, I guess this is the purpose of what they want you guys to be, us to feel. But like, when are they gonna kind of expand and let us be in the world instead of just placing us in the map and letting us run around it? Like it was okay, cool. We could be on planet Vegeta, like. But I'm like, I would like to see something like where we're traveling to Planet Vegeta or like how we did in Kakarot where the actual base game, you could travel to different different parts of the map, uh, like maybe in a space pod or something like 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 not not just through a cutscene. Like, I don't know, man, guys, it just was very subpar, very lackluster, um, not enough content to really get you engaged. And when I was actually thinking about playing this and buying this, I, I I don't know. I was hesitant on it because I didn't really see a lot of people even talking about this DLC from for, for me. And so when people when it came out, it was like a kind of like a oh a hit and run type of thing. Like I said, it has just good moments where you get to actually like when I was fighting um the the, the villains, it was using Bardock's moves and all that good stuff and you know interacting with the rest of the Saiyans. It, it was it was, was kind of cool like it was starting off kind of good in the beginning but like it just got real dragged and boring and just cut sceney again and again just watching everything happen and, and not being immersed and you know you could say oh you just did the story but like even if you did like the side missions it was gonna be the same thing probably have to go find some items or something it, it, it just wasn't enough it's not enough and um i don't know what they need to do but this is it's becoming a trend the last DLC they did was the World Tournament one. That was okay because I like that they, they did something different. Ground-based combat. It was going back to old times. You gave us like you gave us the older other characters that we haven't played with in a while, like Tien and stuff, to actually play with them. Like it, it, you know what I'm saying? It was it was it was cool. That was cool. This one, we, I mean, we just played as Bardock the whole entire time. That was cool, but like I don't know. I don't know. There's nothing, there's nothing much to say. I, like I said, this is going to be a short one. Um, there's nothing much to really say. I just didn't really enjoy it. I didn't really get much out of it. Um, wasn't really feeling it. Um, so my final review on this is definitely there's going to be no music. <laughs> this was a four out of ten. Like, I don't know what I rated the Power Awakens part one. Maybe if I don't know. I think I rated that a little higher, but this one was definitely not good. Bro. I don't know. Not that just wasn't to my standards. Um, let me let let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys feel the same. Let me know if it you know if, if you guys love loved it. I would love to hear why you loved it. Leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're new. We're gonna get on some more Dragon Ball Z Kakarot content. Peace.